How would you explain what we do? I would say we do. <laughs> what are we? We are. We don't know what we are. No, we don't, we don't even know what, what it is, really. In December 2015, two marketeers took off on a 54-day adventure in a rowing boat across the Atlantic. It was the trip that would change the course of their careers and lead to the formation of an entirely unique agency model. This is the story of The Tempest 2. I was at uh, an event called the Clipper World Yacht Race. Uh, my mum was actually part of one of those crews, so she sailed from London to Rio. Uh, I was at the event where some of these boats um, and the crew had been at sea for a year, so it was obviously high emotions, uh, and I was kind of stood at the bar alone thinking, firstly, I've never done anything remotely as cool as that, and my mum is officially more of a badass than I was. Uh, so Googled kind of biggest adventures in the world. This ocean rowing popped up, uh, and I'd literally text James then and there, and it kind of snowballed from there, really. The kind of blueprint for adventure is very much you, you ask your, your dad's mates, and see, hopefully they write you a big fat check. Uh, we asked our dad's mates and none of them had any cash, so uh, we kind of had to go back to the drawing board and actually use kind of our skill set to try and build a bit of a campaign around what we were doing. Uh, so we worked tirelessly for two years, obviously alongside our full-time jobs, trying to raise this kind of 90 grand uh, just to get the boat in the water. Uh, and kind of when we pushed off from, from the Canary Islands, we had the likes of GoPro, Spotify, Dropbox, Lifeproof, Jaybird, Deus, these, these amazing brands who we um, had a huge amount of respect for. They were kind of had all come together in one place to support what we'd be doing. All of the brands that we worked with, although they were amazing, they all had a place on the boat and were all relevant. So yeah, everything had a, had a place and meant that we weren't shoehorning in, in brands. And because of that and because of that way that we kind of created it, we thought that it was something that had a bit of longevity and, and we could work into future adventures and trips. Uh, so the row was 3,000 miles from the Canaries to Barbados, um, totally unsupported, just us in a little seven metre boat. Uh, it took us 54 days, we went through a hurricane, we got bloody capsized in the middle of the night, um, we almost got hit by a tanker, it was, yeah, lots, lots of pretty bad stuff happened to us, but I think uh, we kind of chose to react to those things positively, um, and in doing so, just the crossing was absolutely amazing. When we were about 1,500 miles away from kind of any land and we were in this hurricane, uh, it basically gave us three days where we were in this cabin together, just getting kind of smashed around the place and nothing really to do. So we, uh, it kind of gave us a bit of perspective and we thought if we could put ourselves in this position, having worked with these brands and uh, with no previous experience, then you know, why can't we put all of our efforts into it and, and make something work full time? And, at that point, we had no idea what it was. We just wrote down on a bit of paper that, that we wanted to do it. <laughs> First business plan ever to be written in a, in a hurricane. Day two, finally got the wind. So had to come more southwest. A little bit choppy. We just had 12 hours of this. We're just two ordinary mates who want to go and do some cool stuff. That's essentially it. Uh, and tell the story of how we do it, why we do it. Um, and just give people a bit of a, an insight into what it takes to do these things. We've recently rode motorbikes to the Sahara um, from London, which was awesome. Uh, and tell the story, we work with Triumph Motorcycles, a big British based brand. And um, yeah, we rode 3,000 miles on a round trip to, to the Sahara and, and told the story of these two idiots, basically, um, that jumped on the, the big bikes, the big tourers. Um, that is typically seen, I guess, as a middle-aged man bike and uh, kind of showed where it could go and, and the adventures and the people we met along the way, which was pretty awesome. The way we want to position kind of our, our plan is we'll do probably four things a year. Uh, one of those is kind of the, one of the bigger projects, uh, like the row, for example, um, and that should just allow us to stay kind of relevant, keep the content coming through and hopefully build our client base. But um, yeah, we're, we're incredibly lucky to be in this position and have brands wanting to be involved. Um, so yeah, it's, it's extremely exciting and I think we've been, well, Tempest 2's been full-time for less than a year now. Uh, and we've got three decent things under our belt so far, so hopefully that will continue. No fallback plans? Nah. No, if it bombs, it bombs and we've got to get jobs again, but um, yeah. yeah, it's going in the right direction at the moment. There's some extremely exciting conversations happening, so yeah, long, long may it continue, who knows? 
So I used to work behind the bar, see all these people coming in, having lunch all day long, and think, Jesus, what do they, what do, they do? And my dad was like, oh, they work in advertising. And I was like, cleaning glasses, advertising. That would be the job for me.